Now in this question, we are given the graph of y equals f of x. I've drawn it in parts a and b. It's a curve, as you can see, with a minimum point at 7, 0, and it crosses the y-axis at 0, 7. And in the first question, we're asked to draw the graph of y equals f of x plus 3, and state the minimum point and where it crosses the y-axis. Now, whenever you get a number on the outside of f of x, this is a translation. Translation is a sliding movement, and in this case, it's up three units. So we've got to raise the graph of y equals f of x by three units. So if we do that, okay, if I just grab hold of the graph and push it up, say, three units, okay, it's going to look something like that. And what we need to do is write in the minimum point, which is this point, OK? So we'll just put that in. It will still be 7 across, but it will be 3 up, OK? And this point here will be, instead of 0, 7, it's risen 3 units, so it will be 0, 10. OK? So we have our new graph, then, of y equals f of x plus 3. Let's just remove the old graph, and there you have it. Now, in part B, what we've got to do is draw the graph of y equals f of 2x. Now, what's this transformation going to do? Well, whenever you've got a number like this multiplied by x inside the bracket, this represents a stretch. In this case, a stretch of scale factor a half. What that means is that this graph gets squeezed towards the y-axis. This minimum point here, instead of being at 7, 0, now moves to a new point, which is half that distance to the y-axis. So it's a new point, which will be 3 and a half, 0. That would be the coordinates, then, of the new minimum point. Points on the y-axis always stay invariant under this kind of transformation. So the point 07 is going to stay put. The curve is going to still pass through this point. So what we've got to do, then, is draw the graph coming down through 07, down through 3.5, 0, turning at this point, and then up through again. And take, for instance, this point here. This point would now be at half the distance to the y-axis, so it would end up about there, and I could use that as a bit of a guide. This point here would be halfway in to the y-axis, about there. So I've got to come down through the 07, down to the 3.5, 0, back up again, up to that point there. And that is our new graph. So I'll remove the old one, and this then is the graph of y equals f of 2x. Minimum point then, 3.5, 0, crosses the y-axis at 0, 7. And you had to state these points then in the solution. OK, so that brings us then to the end of question 3.